only got like five minutes left. Good thing I ain't gonna be using this camera long. Oh man guys, what is going on today? D Creator here back with another video. In this video I'm a little excited about because I finally upgraded and got me a G7X. Yes! The reason why I say finally upgraded, got me a G7X, like why is this a, such a big camera is because this is a camera that everybody use for vlogging on YouTube, like cinematic video. It's, it's a good, good quality camera. There's nothing wrong with my camera that I got, and what I have is I have a Canon, I don't even know what it is, it's some type of camcorder. It's a Canon, hold on, Canon HFR 800. So, there's nothing wrong with that camera, it's just, it's time for an upgrade since we are moving up in subscribers. Might as well upgrade so we can get the best content for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and open this because I am extremely excited about this. I'm not gonna lie, I already opened it, so I'm sorry. You gotta hate me later. I right. come on, I was excited. Anyways, let me go ahead and open this for you guys. I have no idea why it's just just exploded like that that was just no now I gotta clean all this up yeah I don't I, I don't I don't know anyway here's the G7X right off the bat the reason why I like the G7X it is very lightweight and it's I mean it can fit in the palm of my hand. It's pretty small. If I wanted to, instead of, instead of carrying my like camera bag, which is this big, I mean, either way, I'm still gonna use my camera bag, but that's a big camera bag, and it's already heavy. It's probably like, probably a good 20 pounds right now because of the equipment that I have in it. But with this, if I wanted to, I could just throw this in my back pocket and it's automatically fine. <laughs> it's pretty cool what else I like about it is the fact that it's for blogging so it pops up so you can look at yourself vlogging much like this camera is but as you can see the camera kind of goes out this goes up so it's a lot smaller still which it makes it even even more bigger this right here just flips up and it's not that it's not that big it still can fit in my hand I can still hold it with one hand if I wanted to but I got a tripod a new tripod for that right now I'm on, I'm on, I'm on my bigger tripod I'm on my bigger tripod I don't know why I can't say that I am on my bigger tripod right now my other tripod lost a leg so that's trash also another thing I like about this it extends out and I feel like you can use it as a stand of some sort, I guess. I'm not 100% sure why that is like that. I do know with it being open like this, you can like kind of just look down and see what you, you know, videotaping without having to crouch down and figure out what you're doing. So this is, this is nice. The camera quality, it is amazing. I will show you that in a few minutes again, but it is way better than what I had before. And this is the Mach, Mach, Mach 2. This is, I was about to say Mach 1 for some reason. Mustang, I guess, but yes, this is the uh, Mark 2 version. So it's extremely nice. Without further ado, let's switch the cameras around so you can see the video quality and the sound quality of the G7X Mark II. Alright guys, this is the G7X Mark II. And I'm not even going to lie to you, you're going to see me looking up. Because 
um, I, I just got to get used to the fact that the camera, the, the screen of myself is not off to the right anymore. It's straight up and down. And it's kind of weird that I'm looking at myself twice because I still have that camera up. But yeah, this is the G7X Mark II. And yeah, the quality is pretty good. Um, I haven't changed the light and I haven't even got up out the seat yet. So I just wanted to show you the difference between this and the other one. So if you want to rewind it and just kind of look at it. They both great cameras, but this one is a better camera for vlogging. I'm still going to use this camera, which let me go ahead and show you while we looking at it. You see how big it is? This this the only downfall about the G7X is you cannot put different lenses on here. But this one right here, I am going to keep this camera. I'm not going to sell it. I'm not going to get rid of it because it's still a good camera. There's nothing wrong with it. This one's about to power down, so let's go ahead and close that. But yes, that's the name right there. So you can check out that camera. Still a nice camera, but I'm going with the G7X right now. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am outside in my garage now and it's a lot better lighting in here. And I will say this, this camera kind of makes me look ugly. Like it shows way too much ugliness, but it's all right. <laughs> Make sure you guys stay tuned to the end because I got a, a surprise for you. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You don't want to miss the next video, what I have planned up for the 1998 Mach 1. Finna get ready to paint this car. You got me a compressor. So if you haven't checked out that video of me building up the compressor, putting it together and all that, click the link above. It's nighttime right now, so I'm not going to uh, do the glamour shots right now because it's not you can't you can't really see it but tomorrow i am going to do glamour shots with the 1998 mach 1 and a fox body and make sure you stay to the end because there's a surprise at the end and you don't want to miss it thank you guys for all the continued support we are at 400 subscribers can't wait till we get to 500 i'm thinking about doing a giveaway at 500 i'm not 100 sure yet but we'll see thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time